Live filter layers are a unique feature to Affinity Photo. These are essentially adjustment layers you can add but aren't undestructive to your document itself or your pixel-based layers. To add one, you can go to Layer, New, Live Filter Layer. And let's, for instance, add, let's say, a vignette filter. By default, you won't see like any type of apply method here or button to basically make this a destructive edit. Instead, you'll get these live editable uh, parameters, which is an awesome feature. Uh, so you can later tweak this, the main reason behind the feature. Let's go ahead and add a quick vignette here, maybe just make it a little darker to this vine image we have. On this layer itself, you'll notice on the right, it's its own layer nested under the root layer, which is our background image at the moment. You can go ahead and add live filtering on this specific layer as well. And I'm just hovering at this point and it's doing this all in real time. Uh, for the sake of this, we'll keep it simple and go ahead and utilize what we have here. So that at this point in time is its own setting on this new layer, as you can see. And if you decide later you don't wanna use this uh, style, you can go ahead and uncheck the visibility box and edit it that way. So let's go ahead and just leave it for now. Another feature that you can add is, let's try one that is like a um, depth of field. Let's try that. And then you can change this. I don't know if you've used Instagram or something similar before, there's filters that you can add that have this tilt shift effect on it. This one, this photo kind of already has it, but I'm gonna go ahead and amplify the effect. So maybe we'll do kind of line up the village here, increase it. Something like so. Yeah, let me move this in, great. And then for instance, if you were to want to maybe back off of this filter a bit, have it still active, but not necessarily as in depth, you can edit it using these controls, but if you want even more refinement, you can go ahead and paint this stuff in. So by default, these nested live filter layers are already a mask. So you won't need to add a mask to edit this like you would traditionally. So what we'll do is grab a brush and I'll adjust the size. I'm hitting the right bracket to increase the size at the moment. And I'm gonna take the hardness down, opacity it down a little bit. And to brush out this effect, you'll, you'll want to actually swap to a foreground color. And this layer at its state will ne actually need to be inverted to make this work. So let's go ahead and do that. You'll see it, the effect doesn't apply. It's actually taken off completely, but you, you notice the layer looks a bit different. If you use the white, you can paint that effect back in. So let's go ahead and do that where we want that visible. Okay, maybe a little more down here. Okay, so you'll notice it's more sporadic, it's more detailed in, in that sense. You can make these edits freehand, so it's more humanistic as opposed to just some filter effect taking place, so it's very powerful. One more effect we can tweak is adding a unsharp mask filter. So we'll go ahead and add one of those. Okay, again, there's a ton here you can choose from. Blurs, motion blurs, clarity filters, high pass filters. I'm gonna do an unsharp mask filter just to kind of bring out the details in this wood grain. And again, this is all real time. There's no apply button you have to deal with like you might in Photoshop. So we'll make it pretty sharp to start with. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Pretty sharp there, okay. And then if you were to keep that setting as is, and say you want to adjust 
the range that that unsharp mask actually takes effect there's this gear icon to the right of blend ranges over the blending modes if you were to adjust it just to include the darker shades you can go, you can do so by dragging this uh, handle down on the source layer ranges here and to give an even more refined effect you can even curve that layer if you uncheck linear and just grab the middle of this handle and come back in so a little more refined a little more sharp and if say you want to add some back just to the lighter you'll see it come back a little bit so it's a nice effect that you can apply just to very tastefully edit a photo uh, and make it a little more sharp so this has been an overview of, of live layer filters for affinity photo uh, again, there are tons of options you can choose from here. The biggest takeaway I can say is that they're indestructible. So if you are to edit something and maybe want to go back and tweak it later on, you're free to do so. It's very easy to do so, and it all happens in real time, which is a huge perk compared to some other photo editors you may have used in the past.